People who import and sell K-pots in Singapore are set to face jail and caning. They come under harsher penalties to kick in from next week. Officers will conduct back checks and public patrols to root out vape offenders. Now, foreigners are no exception. Those caught with Etomidate could be deported and banned from re-entering Singapore. However, vape abusers who voluntarily seek help to quit the habit will not have a criminal record. That is the reassurance from the government amid a crackdown on vaping. The Institute of Mental Health and various community partners will run a program called Quit Vape to help abusers beat the addiction. Home Affairs Minister Kei Shanmugam says the government makes a clear distinction between sellers and users and addicts will be offered help. If you are an abuser... We tend to approach you, whether drugs and now here vapes, as someone who needs treatment. So we try and, first of all, of course, education. Second, um, rehabilitation. It costs the state a lot of money, the taxpayer a lot of money. But we think your life and your future, we ought to try and help you. The Social and Family Development Ministry will extend its youth-enhanced supervision scheme to vape abusers. The ministry says the rehabilitation approach has been effective for young drug abusers, with most of them completing the program and less than 10% returning to drugs within two years. But it emphasizes that the key to helping youths quit vaping lies in understanding what drives them towards it in the first place. Use often vape or abuse substances because of deeper underlying issues. For instance, negative peer influence, mental health issues. And we need to address these issues and lend them the appropriate support. Come the 1st of September, Etomidate and its analogues will be listed as Class C controlled drugs under the Misuse of Drugs Act. But what exactly is Etomidate and why is it dangerous? Well, it is a drug typically used before general anesthesia, taking effect within a minute. It has a hypnotic effect while suppressing consciousness, which is why some have labelled it the zombie drug. The Health Sciences Authority says Etomidate should only be administered under medical supervision. It can cause adverse side effects, and these include nausea and vomiting, seizures and psychosis. Authorities say a few cases of unnatural death and a fatal accident here have been linked to the use of Etomidate. But it is not just Etomidate that's being added to vapes. Similar drugs known as analogues have been detected in vapes in other cities, and they include butomidate, exopropoxate and propoxate. And these drugs are similar to Etomidate in structure and effects. And for more on the long-term impacts of vaping and etomidate abuse, we're now joined by Professor Eric Chan. He's Deputy Head of Research at the NUS Department of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences. Professor Chan, welcome to the program. So from a pharmaceutical perspective, how concerned are you about the compounds being used in e-vaporizers? Are there red flags that you are most concerned about? For pharmaceutical products, uh, the three cornerstones that we are, we are most concerned include um, drug efficacy, mm -hmm. its effectiveness, its safety, and also its quality. But in the case where drugs are added to illicit um, products like vape, mm -hmm. these three properties are largely unknown. So inevitably, we are very concerned about how this drug is being used what is the dosage which is not declared, mm. and what are some of the quality issues? For instance, are there contaminants? Mm. So because of this lack of information, our concern is valid, and any products that are added to these consumer goods should be a major concern. So there's a huge question mark on these substances here. Yeah? Uh, but what are some possible long-term impacts of inhaling substances like etomidate as well as the other types of e-vaporizers. How much do we know about their effects over time? Um, you already mentioned that etomidate crosses the blood-brain barrier very efficiently. Mm. So it gets into the brain very fast. Okay. And once it enters the brain, it actually binds to and activates a receptor. And the subsequent effects include uh, confusion, ataxia, which is... Um, a, a, a unstable movement of the body 
um, amnesia, which is forgetfulness. Um, and, and because of this, you can see that the symptoms are very similar to what that have been observed in some people who consume vapes laced mm. with etomidate, mm. right? You, you, you read reports about unstable movement, etc. But beyond these acute effects, the long-term effects of etomidate um, is less investigated and well-established. But what we know now is that etomidate can also affect a small part of the brain called the hippocampus. And this, this part of the brain is almost like a memory library, right? Mm. When, when it is affected, it actually can cause the, um, the individuals to uh, lose memory or develop attention deficit, etc. So one could postulate that the long-term effect could be related to this kind of um, psychiatric effect. And, and one more point sure. is that it also suppresses hormones in the body. And one of these hormones is called aldosterone. Mm. And aldosterone actually um, controls the fluid balance in our body and also regulates the, the salt level in our body. And when this hormone is suppressed over a long time, um, one can imagine that you know, the, the kidney will start losing water. Okay. The subjects may develop hypotension, mm. which is a sign of low blood pressure. And at the same time, the um, individuals may be more susceptible to infection, like pneumonia, etc. We, we've been talking about yeah. the users, right? But what about the people around them? Mm. Is secondhand vaping a thing? And how would you rate the effects against that of secondhand smoking? So to, to discuss this, we have to bring ourselves back to the problems with cigarettes, right? Where we talk about when we smoke, um, the nicotine in the cigarettes actually mm -hmm. volatilize mm -hmm. and get into the smoke. And if somebody is sitting beside the smoker, mm -hmm. the inhalation of the smoke inevitably brings the chemical into the lung of this um, um, bystander, the secondhand smoker, right? And in the same um, line of discussion, now if somebody is vaping, and you must have seen somebody vaping before, right? This individual will actually puff out quite a lot of, quite a lot of smoke. Mm -hmm. and, and any of the individuals um, sitting or standing in close proximity will inevitably inhale this smoke into the lung, okay. right? And any of these chemicals that are volatile in nature will then enter the lungs of this uh, individual. Mm -hmm. So I think more studies are needed, but uh, I think one can postulate that secondhand uh, vaping can potentially be a danger as well. Mm, and as we know, etomidate and the eight other substances, they'll be listed as Class C controlled drugs. Mm. Um, do you think there is a risk that users might turn to other alternative unregulated compound or substances? Um, so you rightfully describe that these eight compounds, they are what we call the etomidate analogs, they are struct structurally similar to etomidate. Mm -hmm. and, and, and because of that, um, um, they are used um, with the understanding that they may produce the same effect that etomidate is giving rise to the user. Um, will users turn to other um, chemicals? It is quite difficult to speculate at this moment, yeah. but I will say that this will be a constant challenge that um, regulators, the government, the forensic scientists and the academic will face because mm -hmm. more and more chemicals will be sort of illicitly tested yeah. by um, clandestine lab and, and it is possible that more chemicals may come into the space. Okay, I appreciate your insights, Professor yeah. Chan. Thank you so much for coming in tonight. Mm -hmm. That was Professor Eric Chan, yeah. Deputy Head of Research from the NUS Department of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences.